Hello, my name is Stephen Johnson, and I'm part of ITRON's Partner Enablement Team. This is the second video in our MQTT series. In this video, we'll learn how to connect to the Starfish MQTT broker to receive data from your devices. Let's get started. A connection to the Starfish MQTT broker needs to specify the correct URI and security settings. ITRON requires TLS security and uses the TLS default port of 8883. The Starfish connection URL is SSL colon slash slash followed by the broker address followed by the port of 8883. The Starfish broker address is api.mqtt-staging.developer.ssni.com. Thus, the full URI is listed here with the SSL the broker address, and the correct port. Other parameters that you use as part of the connection to the broker include the client ID, which can be any string you choose, the username, which since we're using JWT tokens can be anything, and the password, which is just a copy of a valid JWT authorization token returned from the Starfish APIs. Your Starfish devices and data are organized into your tenant on the developer platform. To subscribe to MQTT data from your devices, you will need to supply the correct topic. The MQTT topic will identify your tenant, the devices you want to subscribe to, and the sensor data on those devices you want to receive. The topic format is tenant ID slash alert slash device MAC ID slash resource, where the resource identifies the sensor whose data you want to receive. Wildcards can also be used in the topic string. Plus matches everything at a given level, and pound matches everything at all subsequent levels, including the level it appears. For example, one topic string could be your tenant ID slash alert slash plus slash temp, and that would return temperature data from all of your devices since the plus wildcard is used in place of the device MAC ID. Another example would be your tenant ID slash alert slash pound, which would return all sensor data from all devices. One thing to note, it's since the pound wildcard is multi-level, the two topics listed here, tenant ID alert plus plus, is basically equivalent to tenant ID alert pound. Both will return all data from all devices. Since your tenant ID in Starfish is the prefix of your MQTT topics, it's important to know how to determine your tenant ID. Since the ID is embedded in your JWT authorization tokens, one easy way to get your tenant ID is to retrieve a JWT token using either the Starfish APIs or Starfish Studio. You can use an online JWT decoder like the website jwt.io to extract your token ID. After navigating to jwt.io in your browser, paste the token, and then you'll see the token ID in the right-hand side of the page listed here on the arrow. This is the string you need to use as the prefix to your MQTT topic subscription. In the next video, we'll use an off-the-shelf MQTT client to connect to the Starfish broker and subscribe to data from our devices using the techniques we learned here. Thank you.